Yeah, man, don't go back to no Egyptians, man. Come on. Through the spirit, I met a, a Nigerian yesterday. I asked him about that. I asked him, was was his people, them them brothers from Sudan, them niggas, wicked uh, heathens from Sudan? Yeah, he, you got Salak. He was, <laughs> you got you got in Sudan. Sudan, when you Google that, it show you uh, the Kushites. But you got the Egyptians uh, mixed down up in there too, in the land of Sudan. God. When he said it, he was like, no. He was like, no. There's different people. So that let you know if he know why you don't know. Yeah. Why you don't know? Because you've been blinded, man. You've been uh, blinded by the wiles of the devil. It says, this is uh, 2 Peter 2 and 22. But it happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the swallow, and the swallow that was washed to her wallow, wallowing in, in the mire. Vomit. Vomit is, that's disgusting, man. And a dog to eat his own vomit. So that them, them wicked philosophies that when you come in the truth, you leave. Hey, when you think, you know, that you start getting afflicted in this truth, you run right back to that madness, man. You run right back to that madness, man. Knowing the punishment gonna be, it's gonna be seven times worse. Yeah. And it's comparing, it's comparing the dog and the pig, man. So you just back in, you just filth. back into that filth, man. Filth. Of the world, man. In that Egyptology madness, and it ain't number, it ain't number. Edomites uh, did all that archaeology uh, digging over there. Gene Jean Champollion, man. They they call him the father of, uh, of Egyptology, man. God, I'm gonna back the brother up on on something he said a few minutes ago. This is uh, St. Matthew 10 and 28. Okay. And it says, Fear not them which kill the body, okay. but are not able to kill the soul. Because we know, we know through the Spirit of the Heavenly Father. That's why we don't got no fear, because we know. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 7, I mean uh, 12 and 7. Okay. We know through the Spirit that all the spirits go back to the Heavenly Father. Ain't no such thing as hell. That was an uh, allegory. What that was going back to was uh, Jeremiah chapter 19 when it was talking about Henna. The Lord was saying, look, you're going to burn in the hellacious condition. Meaning you're going to go through hell on, on, on earth. Basically, hell, hell, is a, hell is a condition that's played out on earth. Okay? So those were allegories when the Lord was talking about hell. There's no such thing as hell. God. I mean, I mean, far as like you going, you going to, the, you going to the spirit world, and, and Satan himself is, is, is beating you. No, I don't go like that. You know, please ask you. Give me, go ahead. Please ask you. Twelve and seven. God. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, God. and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. Yeah. So we know all the spirits go back to the heavenly Father and His Son. You see? We know that. So go back over the way you were reading it. This is uh, Matthew 10, 28. God. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Yeah, fear not them, because when them martial law troops come in and kick in your door, in America, when America get hit with thermonuclear destruction, don't fear. You see? Because that's what's going to happen to America. Okay, go ahead. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, the heavenly father, fear him. Because he's the one that can put you back in these hellacious conditions. You see? And that's why, and that's why these people, these zombies, you see these zombies walking around, they don't have a clue that their empire is falling. That's why the debt is 18 trillion and is rising. They don't understand that Trump. Russia getting ready to light America up. Trump. China getting ready to light America up. Iran getting ready to light America up. See, these Edomites don't understand that. You see, you don't have to pray for me because you're Satan. You see that? You're Satan. You don't believe in the Bible, devil. And see, these white people think they empire, these so-called white people and their biblical nationality are Edom. They think they're going to last forever. But America going to be destroyed and it's happening right before their face. They can't even see it. They can feel it. But they can't put their feet on it. <laughs> yeah. America going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Give me that idea. Isaiah 47 and 1. And it says, Come down and sit in the dark.
dust, O oh virgin daughter of Babylon. Yeah, come down and sit in the dust, O oh virgin daughter of Babylon, because the ancient Babylon is over there in Iraq. It said the daughter of Babylon. The daughter of Babylon is America. Babylon in the Hebrew meaning confusion. Curse. This is the daughter of Babylon pursuing the Revelation 17 and Revelation 18. This is the daughter of Babylon and America nothing but confusion. Go ahead. It says there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldees. The cha Read that start at the top again. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Babylon is confusion. And when you in that, and when you in that dust, you in a confused state. So that's why these so-called white people don't understand what's going on with the economy, how the economy gonna crash, and how they gonna declare martial law in America, and how they gonna push that RFID chip on everybody, and they go, and America gonna be destroyed. Go ahead. It says there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. There's no throne. So your rulership is falling in that witchcraft that you pray, that you push on Jake. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna prevail. Go ahead. Good. And it says, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Then America is blessed because Russia gonna shoot missiles on America. Iran gonna shoot missiles on America. China gonna shoot missiles on America. North Korea gonna shoot missiles on America. India gonna shoot missiles on America. Good. America gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Go Good. ahead. Verse two. Take the millstone. Before, before America gets destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, the Lord himself, who the world enemy called Jesus, gonna come back in the church and tie this place to bits. Take the millstones and grind mill. And, the, and according to the Bible, the Lord is a black man. He ain't no white man. Go ahead. Take the millstone and grind mill. Take the millstone and grind mill. When you when you take the millstone in the ancient time, you will roll over the mill and it will open up and you will see what was in it. Right? So go ahead. Good. Uncover thy locks. Uncover thy locks. Everything, everything that was hidden is being revealed now. How America is red, how America is a corporation, and it, and it uh, uphold witchcraft and sodomy. Jesus loves okay. y'all. No, you don't know. You don't yes. know the Bible. Yeah. Get away from her heathen. Get away from her heathen. You don't know the Bible. Get away from her heathen. You're an Edomite. Go ahead. It says, uncover thy locks. Uncover Make thy grab the legs. You're an Edomite. You're, you're a descendant of Esau. It says, uncover thy no, thighs. No, you want the, what's the definition of love according to the Bible? Give me the definition of love according God. to the Bible. What's the definition of love according to the Bible? You don't know, heathen. You don't know, heathen. You eat a mic. You don't know. You don't know the definition of love according to the Bible. Give me the John. definition of love. This is second John. This is this the definition of love according to the Bible, you devils. Second John 6. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. And this is love that we walk after his commandment. That's the definition according to the Bible. And the commandment was only given to the nation of Israel. You scatterbrain. This is the commandments that ye have heard from the beginning. Ye shall walk in. Yeah, give me uh, Psalm 147. God. And the commandments are only given to the nation of Israel. Not no heathen. Y'all are heathen. And them God rats in the land of Israel are not Israelites. They heathen. They are Amalekites. They are Edomites. Psalms 147 and 19. He says he showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. That's the nation of Israel. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Go ahead. He have not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt so with any nation. Go and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. As far as his judgments, they have not known him. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Give me Amos chapter 3. God. Y'all don't know the Heavenly Father and His Son, and the Heavenly Father is a black man according to the Bible. He not no so-called white man. And that white so-called white man that they got up that that Jesus, that Caesar boy Jill, you gotta bring dumb Americans. God, Amos 3 and 7. Go ahead. Surely the Lord God would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Surely the Lord God would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto the prophets. That's how we know America going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Hear this, Lord, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of 
Israel because the Lord only know Israel. Go ahead. It says against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying you only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Heavenly Father only knows Israel. Israel, that's it. Good. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why the Negro and Latinos and Native Americans went into captivity in this country. Good. But we transgress the laws of the Heavenly Father. And the laws are only given to the nation of Israel, which are the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Not you so-called white people. You are Edomites according Good. to the Bible. Can't two walk together except they agree? Can't two walk together except they agree? So when we transgress the laws of the Heavenly Father, that's when we went into slavery in America. Come, come. That's right. Go back to uh, uh, Isaiah yeah, 47. Come. Isaiah 47. And one, a two. I started one again. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, in a confused state. And they're saying virgin daughter of Babylon because it ain't never been attacked. It ain't never been attacked, man. And it says, there is no throne, O daughter of the child dead. O daughter, o daughter of the child dead, there is no throne. There is no rulership for you. And you all in the witchcraft. America is full of witchcraft and sorcery. There's no throne for you. The Heavenly Father finna bring you down, man. You've been ruling too long. You've been ruling too long, and your sins have reached to the heavens. Huh. You put chemtrails in the sky. You create GMO. You put fluoride in the water. That's huh. pure madness. And all you people, fat. Can't even lose no weight because of them GMOs. It says, for thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate. So thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate because America finna go to war with Russia and China and Iran. They are about to go to war. It says, take the millstone and grind mill. Take the millstone and grind mill. Go ahead. It says, uncover thy lot. So all the shame of America is all on the internet. How this place is just a sodomite, full of sodomite. They don't have no power no more. That's why don't nobody believe nothing you say to mother country. They're looking at you like, man, America is this great. We don't want no part of her no more. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh. Yep. Pass over the river. Mm -hmm. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Mm -hmm. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Thy shame shall be seen. So America being exposed all over the internet. It being exposed, man. It being exposed by the word of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will meet not meet thee as 